Hello there, welcome to the very first video for my punch art week. Uh, this is Pam, I'm a Stampin' Up! independent demonstrator and all this week I will be sharing uh, punch art projects with you. I will have videos and I also have uh, all the information on my blog. So the project that I have for you today are flowers, these uh, two flowers here that I made. Uh, simply with the word window punch um, you can see there and the center is the petite petals punch um, that's all the punches that I used on this project and also this box is a little sneak peek for you from the holiday catalog that will be um, out the first of September I believe or the end of August. Uh, it is the gift box punch board and it makes various sized gift boxes uh, including this one. So I uh, adorn this one with these cute little flowers. So let me show you how to uh, make these. They are very quick. So uh, I will make the one uh, for you today with the Blackberry Bliss. This is the new in color. So for one flower you need five of the word window punches. So I'm just going to cut out five. And then for the center you need one of the petite petals punch. So that is in the uh, Tangelo Twist 2014-2016 um, in colors. So that's all the punches that you need. So what I did to get the edges of the flowers curled up, just take your bone folder and uh, run it across the edges um, of each of those word windows and it curls it up a little bit just like that. So do that on each one. If you want them to sit flat, you most certainly can. Just don't uh, use your bone folder to curl them up. But I like it that way. I always like dimension uh, in my punch art. I said I will also have all of the uh, projects each day posted on my blog. Um, down below every video, I will have a direct link um, to my blog. I will have like all of the item numbers of all the punches that I used every day. Alright, so once you get those all curled up and then you'll need your um, your little petite um, petals punch. Um, take your, this is just a mouse pad, if you have the uh, stamp and pierce mat that would work fine too. But you need to punch a hole in the center of each one um, of these and into the center of the uh, petite petals punch because they will all be held together uh, with a silver mini brad. So just take your uh, piercing tool and punch a hole in the center of these. You don't have to um, be exactly precise. I just kind of eyeball it there and punch away. And then that one I'm going to take the end of the pierce tool and just kind of push it in a little bit first and then punch a hole in that. And that's all there is to do to those. And next we will take the silver mini brads and get a whole uh, little tub of these. They're very small but they have a longer stem on the back. Probably can't really see it in the video because they're so tiny. But they do have quite a long stem on them. So they're nice to use when you build projects up. Because you can get quite a thickness layers of papers in there before you can before folding them over and they run out of room. So just start um, building them up. Put your um, brad through the flower uh, tea petal first. And then uh, start adding your word window punches. And you can um, kind of spread them out as you go. Um, you can get them all aligned up before you spread the prongs um, of the brad. 
to get them centered just exactly right and it just keeps uh, stacking them up there like that's not really exactly centered so I just kind of put my thumb in the center and hold it a little bit and just keep turning them around until I feel that that's probably as centered as as I can get them and then open the prongs and they're real easy they're very soft the prongs to get apart and then I even kind of bend it just a little bit towards myself in this case just to to cup it a little bit and then that's your flower and since I kind of flattened that out the center one I do bring those um, petals up to give it where I smushed it down with the piercer tool it's already somewhat creased um, give it back to its dimension and they do move around a little bit but once you put them on to your project um, I use glue dots to attach it to there and I put like a glue dot on each prong to hold it and then I kind of put glue dots like on um, each of these word windows to try to keep them because they, they will keep moving around on you um, if you don't put the glue dots there to keep them in place but that's the little flower that I made for this box the first project for my punch art week um, I have lots more uh, projects in store so I hope you will join me for the rest of the week uh, thank you for watching today and don't forget to visit my blog I will have all the punches that I used on there every day and there is also a link um, on my blog to my Stampin' Up! site and store so if you would like to purchase any of the punches that I use this week you can visit my site. Thank you for watching. Bye!